When I first started, Ashley Graham had not even been on the cover of Sports Illustrated. I didn't see any other people out there that had my type of style or wanted to do what I wanted to do. And I feel like now, if I were a 16 year old girl with access to social media, I would feel so good because I would be able to see hot, fashionable, successful, stylish women and examples of how to dress. And I certainly didn't have that at all. That means that more lives are being affected and it's not an anomaly. It's not just a handful of people doing it. I love that more people are doing it. Today, I'm chatting with Katie Storino of The 12 Style, founder of Mega Babe and author of Body Talk, all about her journey with body acceptance. What is your relationship with your body like today? My relationship with my body today is good. I've really come to a neutral place where I don't get hung up in the mirror. I wear things that make me happy. If I want to try a new trend, I will. So I feel really comfortable with my body. What were some of your first outlets to finding clothes that fit your body and finding inspiration for your fashion? I always just shopped like in the women's sections. I wasn't plus size, meaning I could fit into adult women's clothing. I just wasn't an adult. You know, I was like 12 years old. I tried to see modeling as like something that I could get into that my height could go to good use. I'm 5'11". I'll starve myself and become model size and then that will be my solution. <laughs> What's ironic is that I did become a quote unquote model, but it wasn't until I was in my early 30s and four sizes bigger than I was when I was thinking of starving myself. So it's so funny that it, it did actually happen, but just not in the terms that I expected. How did you feel held back previously when it came to your body? And when did you realize that was something that you wanted to work on? I wear a size 18, 20 now. When I started to have these conversations with myself, I was a size 12, 14. And in that size range, I just thought I was too big to be successful. And to an extent at that time, I really was like, Things are very different than they were 2014 to now. At that time, when I realized that my body wasn't the problem, that it was me and my own insecurities holding myself back, that's when everything changed for me. What was it like to exist on the internet as a plus size woman putting your body out there? I think people in my friend and family group were embarrassed at first. I still hadn't gone on my full discovery about my own body acceptance journey. It was hard because people still viewed it as something like, oh, she's in this temporary body. Or maybe I even thought that eventually you'll lose weight. And then I stopped feeling like that as I started to do the work. How do you feel about the fact that people now have that freedom to like create these looks in their size? The fact that this is even a party, like I'm glad there are more people at the party, like with Super Size The Look. I do like seeing people do variations of celebrity recreations because it's cool to see how people interpret it. Even the conversation is changing in terms of labels, you know, body positivity to body acceptance to body neutrality. neutrality yeah. What do you make of, of those labels? At one point, being called body positive was another way to say you were plus size. So I like that now it's more, people really understand that it's not about a size, it's about a mentality and that you have women who are a size four doing the same type of work and helping women accept their, their bodies because we need it. With your book, Body Talk, how do you think that that contributes to, you know, not just talking about these ideas of, of inclusivity and representation, but actually making sure that people are coming to a place of acceptance? Body Talk is actually a workbook. I wrote it for people to work on their own individual journeys. There's homework in it. It's not like my story. I really wrote it so that people can work on their own relationship with their bodies. You've given so many people permission to A, exist, and then B, to take it so far beyond that and just be like fabulous and fashionable and successful and all of these things. And so I thank you for, for your work because it's really incredible. Thank you.